And hark! It's round five of the electric bike series of trying to revive a non-running electric bike that sat at a salvage yard because driving something that could spontaneously combust between your legs may not be everybody's idea of a fun Friday night. Batteries are dangerous, and yes, I may have spent 90% of last week's episode focusing on that battery, but that's with good reason, because A, it's an expensive component, and two, you don't want to be like, whoops, maybe I should have made certain that the pack wasn't compromised, because that's as bad as crashing your car and blaming it on your astrological sign. Whoops, I'm such an asparagus. And I mean, the battery is the main culprit that could render your garage in flames. I love them as a band, but not to be the state of a garage, thank you so much. But guess what? We finally got a package. And let's see, maybe we can make the wheels on the bike go round and round, and no, I'm not going to sing that. So, let's get into it. Yeah, so last week I spent the entire week isolating a battery in a field to make certain that it wouldn't flare up after fully charging it. And we were marked safe. We were marked safe. So now look at this. We got a package. We can finally bench test this lady. See if we can get her to run. So let's rewire everything up and install this new MCU. Gonna make some tunes to motivate myself and give you some elevator music to hear while doing this. Captain's log, and we have arrived back here again. Everything is a bench set up. I've triple checked all connections and fuses. And we'll go over, we'll give it the overview again. So we've got our VCU, vehicle control unit. We've got our DC converter. This is the CAN signals. Uh, this is our contactor, and this is the new motor controller MCU here. That's a fuse. And then uh, then we plug it in over to the battery pack. Once you know that's once that's in, the contactor will click, the MCU should communicate, and then we will be able to have this thing spin. Or hopefully. That's 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 the goal. That's the hopes and the dreams, right? That's it should. Or something else, you know. Plug it in, plug it in. All right. Here we go. One small. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Headlight. Look at that. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> and this is powered up. Yeah, buddy. Contact it really made a click sign, I tell you what. Uh, and this should give us some modes. And we're in stroll. I know the D-pad doesn't really do anything. Except for toggle. Stroll. Okay, that's, that's just what it's in. Let's see. Dude, we've got movement. Yeah! Movement! Yeah, yeah Voltron! I mean, Volcom. Volcom. Alright. No alerts. 
I mean, alerts are for elderly people that have fallen anyways. I've fallen, and I can't get up! We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. It's not what we're looking for here. Also, would you look at this topography? I wonder where that is located. I know these are made in Texas. That's a wee bit too flat of a state for all these lines, but, uh, you know, this is, this is nice. This is nice looking. Just puts me in stroll. It looks like we're stuck in stroll mode. It's still, still pretty... Still pretty snappy, but it clearly kind of stops its, its, its. It clearly limits itself. Let's see if Volcom actually has support. Huh? Would you look at that? All right, so we were told that this this little button right here, this little this little rubber nubbin, it's essentially an override for your modes if the VCU doesn't work. So if I plug, let's, let's plug this little whippersnapper in. Oh, terrible camera angles, I know, I'm sorry. On a one-man show. Let's plug it in, in plug it in. in. All right, click, contact her. What do we got? Lights are on, somebody's home, we're in neutral. Would you look at that? This thing now. All right, it'll kick us over into other modes. And, I mean, we were also advised this could just need a reboot. Do the old unplug and plug it back in sort of thing. Which, uh, <laughs> ah, yes. What sorcery? The old, did you unplug it and plug it back in? Did you turn it off for 10 seconds and then power it on again? Just like any other computer. I'm a computer. Or a Tesla. Or that really weird cylindrical shaped massager in your friend's top drawer on their nightstand. Yeah, this is a computer. It is a computer. Help computer. Let's give it the boot though. Let's, let's see what happens. Ah, I'm stoked. Look at this. Huh? Yeah, buddy. After cleaning the pins in the VCU and turning it on and off again a bunch of times, we, we have we have a communication. Well, I'll freaking be. Explore, sport. There we go. You know, you just can't get discouraged. And sometimes have to just play around. Let's see how this thing snaps in freaking sport mode. Everybody loves a sport mode. Well, how about that? That's that's some success. Well, we're going to chalk today up for a win. Uh, I had half a mind to want to throw the seat on haphazardly and rip this down the road, but I'd rather save the first drive for when it's fully ready to dance. So, got some things to put back together here. We're almost there. But the finish line is in sight. So, we're getting there. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. YouTube is hard. And uh, apparently I don't know how the algorithm works anymore. So I guess sharing videos is, is the thing. But uh, you guys are all here. You're watching this. You rock. Thank you. I hope you have an absolutely lovely day. And I'll see you guys next week. Hasta la pasta. Stop all the downloading.